Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Did you know you can see about five planets with your naked eye? So it is possible that any telescope might be able to see it as well. But there are some things you need to consider while buying a telescope for viewing planets. Things like aperture, focal length, you have to consider while buying a telescope. Number one, aperture. The aperture refers to the diameter of the light gathering lens or mirror. It is where light enters the telescope. The aperture may be compared to our pupils, as both function identically. When we enter a dark room, our eyes open up and the pupils expand, which means they attempt to gather as much light to help us see more clearly. On the other hand, when we stand in a brighter environment, our eyes squint to the pupils' contrast to limit the amount of light allowed to pass through. The larger the aperture, the higher the amount of light that's getting in, but having a small aperture means that the image will be more intricate and brighter. Telescopes usually come with an aperture of 2.8 inches or more. The size must be considered keeping in mind the location and the things you would like to target. A telescope with a larger aperture is ideal if you prefer fainter, finer detail. It would also be suitable pick if you live in an urban setting where light pollution has already made the sky tougher to scan. However, if you reside far from the city, then going for a telescope with a small aperture would be a smarter move. For example, from a dark location you can spot dozens of galaxies beyond our own Milky Way through a scope with an aperture of 80 millimeters, around 3.1 inches. But you'd probably need a 6 or 8 inch telescope to see the same galaxies from a typical suburban backyard. Regardless of how bright or dark your skies are, the view through a telescope with plenty of apertures is more impressive than the view of the same object through a smaller telescope. Number 2. Magnification A bigger aperture allows you to use more magnification. You can actually make any telescope provide any magnification by changing eyepieces. But without a larger aperture, high magnification is worthless. It'll just show a blurry, dim mess. With a big aperture and 50 times magnification will reveal Jupiter's moons, Saturn's rings, and some detail in the brightest star clusters, nebula, and galaxies. After that, it'll go blurry. You shouldn't just buy a telescope looking at its magnification capabilities. If the telescope has a small aperture, then the higher magnification is not effective. As a beginner, you should stick with moderate to low magnifications. The images will be smaller, but they will be brighter and sharper, and viewing them will be a much more satisfying experience. Number 3. Focal Length Telescope's aperture is its most important aspect. The focal length comes next. The focal length is simply the effective distance from the lens or mirror to the focal point, where an eyepiece or camera would go. The longer the focal length, the greater the magnification with a given eyepiece. Let's say you have two telescopes with the same aperture but different focal lengths. The one with the longer focal length will generally be better for high magnification viewing. The focal ratio is just the focal length divided by the aperture. Long focus eyepieces are easier to use, especially for eyeglass wearers. Based on these things, we have created a list of telescopes for beginners to start their astronomy adventure. First telescope is 60mm Aperture 700mm AZ Telescope. The AZ 60mm telescope is an excellent product that works well for beginners as well as professionals. It has very easy to use features and will give you a clear, perfect view. The assembly of the telescope is not complicated at all. The telescope has a 700mm focal length and a 5.7 focal ratio. The glass is coated with a multi-layer green coating that gives a clear and bright image of the planets and protects your eyes as well. The telescope also comes with a smartphone eyepiece adapter that helps to take pictures and make videos of the planets. Moreover, the stretchable and adjustable tripod is everything you need for viewing planets. It has easy panning adjustments and is made of aluminum. The aluminum tripod is durable and sturdy. You can use the telescope for land viewing along with tracking planets. It is even perfect for kids and is a great way to get your kids interested in astronomy since it is a straightforward to understand and operate. Our second telescope is Geisker Telescope. Geisker is one of the most famous telescope brands available. It will help you learn more about planets, moons, and stars. The Geisker Telescope has a 70mm aperture and a 5.7 focal ratio. The lens is made of fully optical coated glass that creates high quality photos and videos. Moreover, it protects your eyes as well. Additionally, the telescope comes with replaceable eyepieces and a Barlow lens. The telescope has a mounted bracket and crosshair lines inside the glass that helps in locating the planets quickly. If you are planning to go to the countryside for land viewing and stargazing, then this travel-friendly telescope is for you. The body, accessories, and tripod are lightweight, and you can store all of them effortlessly in the bag that comes along with it. It is the best telescope with a tripod and other essential accessories that are easy to assemble. You can easily swap the lenses if you want to observe the planets comfortably. In short, this telescope is the best combination of quality and affordability. Our third telescope is Mead Instruments Polaris 114mm Portable Telescope. 
The Mead instruments are made out of the finest products in the telescope range. This amazing telescope from Mead has a focal length of 1,000 millimeters and a focal ratio of 8.8. .8. These features help to view the planets very clearly. You can use this telescope during day and night as well. If you are planning a stargazing trip to the countryside, then this telescope is all you need. It has a sharp focus, it's travel friendly and lightweight. Moreover, the setup is effortless and requires no tools. The telescope comes with extra accessories like magnification eyepieces, Barlow lens and scope finder. The Barlow lens helps to enhance the magnification power of the eyepiece. The telescope has a sturdy yet lightweight tripod with an adjustable mount that has slow and smooth movement to track celestial objects. The red dot finder of the lens helps you to locate the astronomical object while observing. This is not just it. The telescope comes with DVD instructions and free astronomy software. Our fourth telescope is Celestron 70mm Travel Scope Refractor Telescope. The Celestron 70mm Telescope is a very convenient telescope to use. It is easy to assemble and is travel friendly. If you're planning to go on stargazing trips or just want to watch planets from the safety of your backyard, then this telescope will be one of the best things with you on the trip. It is a splendid telescope for beginners and hobbyist astronomers who want to enhance their astronomical knowledge. This is a 70mm refractor telescope with 2.7 inch aperture. It also comes with extra eyepieces that give a boost into the magnification power of the lens. Moreover, the telescope comes with a complete instruction guide and SkyX software that helps you explore the sky. The large aperture provides the users with bright and clear images of faraway celestial objects like stars, moons, planets, galaxies, and more. Our fifth telescope is Van Starry Telescope for Kids. The Van Starry Telescope is a 70mm travel scope and is perfect for kids as well as adults. It has green coated optical glass and the frame is lightweight. The telescope has two replaceable eyepieces and have very high magnifying power. It has a finder scope as well that helps you find planets very easily. The large aperture provides you with a bright and clear image of the planets. The setup of the telescope is easy and quick and you do not need any complex tools for that. Moreover, the telescope comes with a backyard and a tripod as well. The tripod is made from high quality aluminum alloy and is adjustable. So these were some of the beginner telescopes to start your stargazing journey. I hope this video helped you to understand some basics of the telescopes and will help you to make a better buying decision. If it did, then give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more technology related content. If you want the review of any other telescopes you have in your mind, then please let us know in the comments below. See you in the next video. Have a nice day guys. Peace.